Okay, so I'm learning how to boondock, or actually dry camp. So let me show you here. Let me turn some light on. I'm gonna show you my tanks. My battery bank is at three, which is good. Um, fresh water is zero. This is all about learning how to dry camp. The RV's all set up, ready to go. I guess the one nice thing is I don't really have to worry so much about putting everything away. Um, you know, because I'm coming right back, so it's not like it's that big of a deal. Hey guys, so I'm going out to Rose's RV to um, get all my, you know, supplies. I need to get water, I need to dump and throw garbage away, and I need to get some propane. The road um, on the way to the GPS coordinates for the memorial site is really nasty. So I have to take it real slow. Um, I've already noticed that, um, you know, I'm having some problems with the RV in terms of uh, the cabinetries on the walls. And so in terms of separating. So I'm a little bit cautious on that because I'm gonna be going to Elkhart, Indiana to Forest River and having them do some repairs. So that'll be one of the things they're gonna to need to repair. I don't have a whole lot of stuff in it, but there is no other storage in this RV. So it's real important that I um, get that fixed. Okay guys, so I'm at Rose's RV park, I guess. Um, but you get, you fill up with water here. The water fill up is only five bucks, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of space open, but I understand in the throes of season here, this place gets pretty busy. So they're very nice, very nice, very nice. Got a beautiful view of the mountains out here. Wow, look at those mountains, spectacular. Okay guys, so I wanna round out this video of some of the lessons that I've learned with boondocking. The first lesson is water management. Make sure that you understand how to conserve water. That's been a big lesson for me. Um, if you don't do that, you're gonna end up uh, you know, breaking camp and running into town and getting water every couple days. And you really, that's a real pain. So water management. The second one is electricity and power management. Know when to run your generator, know when not to run your generator, and if you have the option of getting solar, get solar. Although I have to tell you, a generator is a great option even if you have solar, because there's days when the sun is low in the horizon and you're not gonna get a great charge. For most of the people who have solar, um, they're able to aim their, their panels and um, they're gonna be able to get some good charges and they probably have a good battery bank. Solar is next on my list, so lesson number two is get solar. Uh, and then the third lesson I've learned is enjoy it. Um, it really is a peaceful, wonderful opportunity to convene with nature and to meet up with some friends. And so anyway, <laughs> that's my take on boondocking. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, please. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Welcome to all my new subscribers. It's great to have you. All right, everybody, have a great day.